In this video, we are going to learn how to use this knob, discrete knob and lamp in MATLAB app designer. So ultimately, we are going to learn how to program these things to create an app. So for that, first of all, let's take this knob, right? And uh, we'll assume that this knob indicates temperature. So we'll write temperature over here, right? So this knob indicate temperature from 0 degree to 100 degree. Now we'll take this lamp, right? And we'll take a numeric edit field. So in this numeric edit field, we'll show temperature we just reposition this temperature and this indicating lamp will be used to indicate very high temperature so this will be your app uh, let's select everything and let's align them centrally and let's give them equal vertical space so this is the layout of our app now what do we want from this app when we move this knob we want to see the exact temperature in this display and when this temperature is above 80 degree centigrade it should show it is in very high range when you click this knob, you will see this type of properties are available over here. You can set minimum value, maximum value and you can set initial condition or initial value for this knob. If we keep it as 50, right, this knob will automatically shift over here. But we in this case will keep it at 0 only. From here you can change intervals if you want to keep five then it show like this 20 right so we'll keep 10 it is and from here you can change the font so now we'll right click this and go to callback functions now here we have two callback functions add value change function callback and add value changing function callback what these two means we'll check one by one so first we'll go with the first option so it has automatically created this first line value is equal to app dot temp knob dot value so this value variable will be equal to the set point of our knob where we are setting it now what do we want we want to display that temperature in this edit field so we'll write app that means we are talking about this app temp edit field that means we are talking about this component and then dot value that means we are talking about the value of that component so app dot temp edit field dot value indicates that we are talking about the value of this and equal to value indicates that we are setting the value in this text box equal to this value that we are getting from this knob so by doing this we are importing the value of this knob to this box now what do we want now we want to indicate this lamp and what is our requirement our requirement is when the temperature is above 80 degree this lamp should be turned on right so in that case we'll write if if value greater than 80 then what do we want then we want to turn on this lamp so by changing the color of the lamp we are indicating the turn on process of the lamp so what do we do we'll write app dot lamp it is not only lamp it is high lamp right so we're supposed to write app dot high lamp that means we are talking about this component now which property we are dealing with we want to deal with color property so we'll write app dot high lamp dot color now we want to set which color when the temperature is above 80 so we want to indicate it as high right so just come over here here there are different colors right so this one is red color so to indicate red color you're supposed to write 100 zero, zero. it is the rgb value equivalent to red 
So you'll make a matrix, you'll write 1, 0, 0. This will indicate the color of the lamp is red. Else, if the value is not greater than 80, in all that condition, what do we want? We want the lamp should be turned off. App dot I lamp dot color. If we want to keep the lamp turn off, right? Then if we keep lamp of this color, right? It looks like it is in off condition. So this is gray color type. So 0 0.94, 0 0.94 and 0 0.94 are the RGB values. And then we'll end this if else statement right so i think our requirement is fulfilled now let's run the app and for that we first need to save it so if, let's say we are changing the temperature there is something wrong with this yes this i should be small so yes it is it shows the value now let's bring it above 80 and it shows it is more than 80 right so here there is one thing you observe that when i keep moving this knob the value is not changing over here right but when i release it at that moment's value has been displayed over here so instead of this, what if I want to make some changes over here that whenever I'm changing this, the value should be updated on every instant, right? So just close this thing, come to this design view. Now right click this and to achieve that purpose, we'll use this callback add value changing function. So when we started programming this, we have seen two options like this, right? So first option we program like this, but if you want to continuously update the value in edit field, then you're supposed to choose this second option, right? So now we'll go with that option. So in that case, our entire program will be same, right? We want to implement the same thing. And here you can see in very first line, changing value is equal to event dot value so at every event it will continuously update the value whereas here in first line it is written as app dot temp knob dot value that indicates when you start changing the knob and when you release the knob that last value will be stored over here but this event dot value indicates that whenever you change the knob even if you have not released it it will continuously update the value in this changing value variable. So now here our app temp edit dot value will be equal to changing value. Now we'll keep this logic as it is, but over here we need to update the value of our variable. So this will be changing variable. Whenever this changing variable will be above 80, we will change its color right so now let's run so here you can see whenever i'm moving my knob the value is continuously updating and now i'm moving above 80 and the lamp has been turned on so we have learned to program the knob now it's time to discrete knob but before we move there there is a quick short question for you and the question is based on this knob if I want to change the value of this knob on every instant, which option I suppose to choose? Option 1, go to temp knob value changed or option 2, go to temp knob value changing callbacks. Option 1 or option 2, write your answer in comments quickly. Once you are done with that, now we'll move ahead. Now it's time to go for this discrete knob, right? But the length of this video is already larger, so we'll take this discrete knob into the next video. 
here you will find the link of the next video so just go to that video and understand how to program discrete knob so see you into that video